In this video, I would like to answer one question I received in the comment section uh, for one of my videos uh, for building charts in Angular application. And the question was if we can get data for this chart from the Angular service instead of how it was defined in the application just uh, in the component. Uh, sorry in the app component yes we can and i'm going to demonstrate it so i'm here in visual code and open the solution um, the application i will create another folder for services and then we will create a file which I call chart that service that ts And we'll create the service. So we need import a couple things. We need import injectable. Uh, from Angular Core. Then we will need to import obs observable also off. Library XGS the injectable decorator. Creating standard service so create our service class then call chart service then here we'll of constructor, just empty constructor. And we will create like in reality probably we'll get the data from some kind of database that I create just Data here. I will go and copy the data from here. And we remove it from here. And then I will create the method for getting this data. We just return observable of 
time I just make it simple uh, here just I didn't create any class for this data I'm just using simple object array of objects and we return this data okay So now we can use this uh, service in the app component. So we need just import it. in services child service so now we need to inject it so it's modifying constructor Child service to get data. So need this child service. So need this. We need. Let's create another variable for data. data on this chart service which returns which return observable so we need to subscribe got from the call of this method so and now we can assign this data to the chart data so Compiled successfully, so let's go refresh it just in case. 
I need to see some charts just to test that this works. Let's add another area here for the chart. Let's do something, say Georgia. That's like 160. And save that. Go here and the got a new values in our chart for the Georgia. So in footer, you can uh, create uh, some, for example, like some input to get input from the user. Uh, for some values and then display chart based on these values for example so let's say in uh, let's see okay so, so here for example create would make it pretty but just create new div here and then get here some input box for example to get some count of or what our data look like like computers, for example, it can be like three different values also. So, and if I button for create a result, and then I click of the button for submit, will call. chart for example and we will pass count value to this method and let's do it submit for example and then in our component instead of um, initialize the chart initial loading of component will do so this will be called on the button click c chart and it will pass as count it will be a number and then based on this uh, count we will modify the chart service that will accept here count which is number so and then let's filter data so we will filter Example computers created an account, so we return only if the value is greater. So if you say let's do maybe or greater than equal, and then if you okay, mm, doesn't matter. If you say hundred, we get two. Georgia and Colorado. So, and here we need pass this count here. Let's save and see compiled. I think here I have this ugly input 
here so if you say 100 and submit and we see to Colorado and Georgia as we expected so this concludes my short demo thanks for watching and if you have any other questions please leave them in the comment section thanks bye